Hello ninjas! It is Wednesday and I was just with my ninjas doing a gutter cleaning job. The customers were there, they needed to talk to me and uh, they are realtors. So they are actually not even realtors, they're more like builders actually. So they're building homes and uh, took my business card. I was cleaning one of their properties gutters and uh, they wanted my info card, you know, get to know me some more because it was a first time meeting, first time customer. And so they're already texting me addresses to go and quote pressure washing, mowing, etc. It's just non ending, guys. So we did that. The two ninjas are off to continue the schedule, the, the mowing. And guess where I'm headed? Because I am downtown. Besides going to uh, quote one or two more jobs that I have. I'm gonna stop at the dealership. I'm gonna go ahead and see what they have on the lot. If they have a four-door workman's package, F-250 or F-350, I don't know. Now you know how dealers are when you go in there, they're gonna try to sell me something ASAP, but uh, I am strictly going just to get more information and just to look. Maybe get them to evaluate my truck, even though I didn't wash it, I didn't clean it, whatever. Last time I traded a vehicle in, if I recall correctly, the dealer told me don't even worry about it because we got to take it through a detail shop and inspection anyway. So whether you bring it in clean or dirty, it doesn't really matter. So anyway, I, I really just want to stop and see what they have on the lot. That's, that's, that's all I'm doing. So I will show you guys what they have. I think I've done it in the past. They didn't really have anything in the past that I liked. I don't need a 2017. But if it's the right truck and the right deal, I'll buy a 2017, but I don't need it. I mean, I could do a 2015 or 16, but you know what? I just don't think they'll have any. I, I, you know, I don't think they'll have any 2016s or 15s or whatever. They sell through those things so fast. Plus, I think the 2017's F250's are the new aluminum body. Um, so anyway, that's, that's the situation for now. Uh, I will be meeting up with the uh, ninjas later <laughs> and I will be uh, recording a little bit of them mowing and stuff so but I got to do that and I got to knock out some quotes and uh, and then that's it oh I got I got I'll probably be going to Sam's Club later I got to get some furniture for a back uh, back patio we don't have any furniture so if you guys have watched one of my Sunday vlogs where I cook out yeah, I have two big patios in the back, porches, patios, whatever. And I don't have any furniture yet. We didn't buy it yet. We just been writing for the right waiting for the right one. And I think we found some that we like. So, I think that's what we're going to go do. All right, stay tuned. I'll definitely show you guys uh Oh, come on. See that one guy turning holds up a whole freaking can't be too mad at him. Too mad at him. It's a Ford. <laughs> so, all right. See you guys later. Come with me. Let's go look at these trucks. All right, guys. He went to get the key. Uh, the only XL Workman's package that they have on the lot is actually silver. It's not white, which is doable. It's fine. I don't have a problem with it. It is a four-wheel drive. And it is an F-250 6.7 liter turbo diesel. Um, here it is, right there. And uh, as you can see, it's the F-250 with the 6.7 liter power stroke turbo diesel. He went to get the key, so I will be getting the key. Uh, turn it on, just try it out. But. Uh, It looks solid, guys, and it's the uh, four-wheel drive Ford. <clears throat> and the MSRP, 51695 But he told me that right now it's going for around 44 45 with the online and some of the rebates and whatnot. 
So basically it's about about $45,000 truck, maybe just under 50 with taxes and all. And me trading in the 09 and maybe putting down a little down payment on it extra on top of the trade in. This camera's a little bent. There you go. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm not making any decisions today by all means, but uh, I like it. I, I like it. It's it's a solid one. I mean, I love these, but I told him I, all I've ever had is white and that's fine. Silver is the closest to white. I actually wouldn't mind changing it up a little bit because uh, all I've had is white and it's just kind of getting old. Uh, but it is the XL, which for those of you, if you're not a Ford fan, the XL is basically the workman's package. Uh, and here are the back seats. Anyway, he's probably getting ready to come by and get the key, so stay tuned. I will keep you posted on what happens and what info I get, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, later. Listen to the sound. Of a diesel engine, boys. There's just something about that. Dun, 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 dun. Look at all the room. Oh yeah. customer wanted those front shrubs trimmed so I told him keep mowing and told Steve to keep weed eating and I'll quickly just do that because um, I didn't want them to get behind on schedule so I did and sorry so I helped them out and now they're gonna finish off the rest of the day I don't need to be with them the rest of the day and uh, that's it I'm going to visit my friend, the one that helped me with the trailer and the one that I was over the other day uh, on a cookout. 
I'm not gonna help him, but I'm going to visit the dealership because guess what? He just purchased a brand new Skag 48 inch V-Ride. And he's actually headed that way right now and I'm headed that way that now. I am so excited for him. I told him I'm about as excited as if I'm buying one because he's really seriously getting into this. Uh, I'm helping him out. He's got, I told him if he's got any questions, anything, I'm there for him, man, because he's there for me and uh, I, I want him to succeed in this as much as I have and am. So anything that I can do to help him out, any kind of advice to give him maybe do's and don'ts, I'm happy to do so. He asked me what should he get. I told him my recommendation is Skag. And uh, he, uh, he listened to me. He said, should I get a walk behind or a V-Ride? I said, the, you know, the yards that he's accumulated so far, which I think is around 10. He said there, most of them are all flat. They don't have small gates. Um, you know, and I told, I was like, well, get a V-Ride because they're faster. And if you don't have a lot of on hills, any properties on hills or, you know, his, any backyards that have small gates, I said, don't get a 36, then get a 48 and get a V-Ride. And, and that's what he got. So, um, I think he's, he's, he's super excited. I think he's got a good mower and I will be showing you guys as I'm getting ready to pull up here on his trailer, uh, his brand new mower. I mean, I'm excited, man. He's, he's, you know, watching me and seeing what I'm doing. He's helped me out a few times, uh, as you guys have seen with the trailer and the pressure washing and, uh, I think he, he's he's realizing, you know, I can do this. So, um, that's awesome. I, I want him to succeed. So, anyway. But, he's got a brand new bad boy. So, come on. Let's go look at it. <laughs> let's go see. Boys, my buddy just picked up his new V-Ride. <laughs> Congrats, my friend. And he's just got himself a big beast. You're gonna make lots of money. <laughs> See you, pal. All right. There he goes. I am super excited for him. Uh, that machine is gonna serve him well and uh, make him lots of money, especially if he stays committed to it and really wants it, and I think he does. But uh, there it is. It's a beauty, guys. It is a 48-inch V-Ride. They go about 11 miles an hour and uh, it's got the Velocity Plus deck on it. Which is one thing I wish my 36 had. It only has the Advantage deck. It's still a good deck, don't get me wrong. I, I bought the 36 because I have other size mowers. You know, I just needed the 36 to get the, to the small gates in. Uh, but the deck is fine, but the Velocity Plus, you can tell a difference on it. It, it, it shoots grass better. Um, but he asked me, I advised him and he listened and he did not make a mistake. I told him, I said, you have made a good decision, my friend. So, 
there you have it boys I'm headed to the house my ninjas are still out there they got a couple more ahead of them and it's a wrap I might record a little bit of uh, what I'm buying at Sam's we'll see um, but if not then this is gonna be the conclusion but if I do then I will shoot a few little clips to show you what I'm getting take care thanks for watching wonderful Wednesday stay tuned for Thursday later real quick real quick um, skag the dealership gave me these car plates here's one and here's another I love it I'm putting one on each truck later guys I just got a phone call of a lifetime well <laughs> of a lifetime for me sorry guys mosquitoes uh, there's a customer of mine that I did some work this last fall and uh, he was not a regular but it was repetitive during the fall and then we just stopped he just called me and said Nick and I said hey long time I'm thinking he's gonna call me to mow his yard which is still exciting right <laughs> he's like how are you doing my friend and I said I'm doing good well you have done fantastic work for me this last fall I thought about you I finally got in the position that I did to be able to make a call like this but how would you be interested to mow and maintain every two weeks so it's not a weekly 10 acres what 10 acres I said uh, you're kidding <laughs> he said no I said I'm all on it he said when can you come look at it I said tomorrow he said come to my house I will take you we will go together so I will have my camera on hand guys if I get a chance to record because he is gonna be with me that's fine if not at least I'll know where it's at and then I'll go back the second time by myself uh, to double check it look at it and then I'll probably record then so if I don't get a chance to record tomorrow it will be the following day I am thrilled but even more the the yards that we have the guys that I have cannot take on anymore I, I mean it's it's crazy so this is gonna be the ninjas are doing what they're doing and I'm just gonna have to go ahead and hire and start another crew I got a trailer I got a truck and 10 acres every two weeks <laughs> this was huge just came through guys so I have to make a video and tell you um, it's exciting it's a, it's a probably a lot of work 10 acres is a lot I don't know if it's just 10 acres of field well then it would be easy or if it's not so here's the case if this comes through and I actually land he said it's a year round it's a year round he said right now that the person that they're paying he feels like they're getting ripped off and he's like I'll tell you what we're paying tomorrow so we'll see <laughs> we'll see but uh, stay tuned I, I had to make this as a conclusion because like I said it just came through and uh, I'll be sharing with you ninjas out there mosquitoes I'll be sharing with you ninjas out there 10 acres have a good evening guys take care